Hey, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review and swatch video off of the Anastasia's Beverly Hill Artist Palette. And you guys, I remember when this palette came out, I was so excited on getting it. And I finally got my hands on it like two weeks ago and I haven't used it. So I feel kind of bad just having it there. So like I said, I wanted to make a video before I actually put it on my face. So this is how the actual box looks and on the back it just gives you a description which is the 12 high end contrast shades ideal for creating custom looks and colors. The artist palette delivers neutral brights and intense long wearing pigments that are in every pro's makeup case. So here's the little description and it just shows you the um, colors that come in here. And what I like about this palette is you, I mean there's different kinds of colors in here not just um like bright bold color colors there's like neutral colors in here and whatnot so let me just shut up and just show you the palette. so when you take it out of the box this is how the actual palette looks and what i like about the palette it has a little magnet case to it so it's not just gonna swing open if you hold it um downwards or any other way so like i said that's a plus so I kind of like that and when you open it for all you people who are wondering it does have a mirror so you actually get a kind of full size mirror and it also gives you a brush a cute little brush which is a um, dual kind of brush and kind of like it you guys it's a kind of fluffy brush which it'll be good for your crease kind of for the transition shade and a little eyeshadow brush right here so it's like i said a duo and then brush so i thought that was kind of cute and let's put that on the side because it's just gonna fall so the first colors that i see here are the colors in here and like i said you can create different kinds of looks with this palette i mean it gives you pops of colors and your neutral shade so if you people don't like them really bright colors you can go on and tone it down with them the little chill tone so I thought that was kind of cute so the first color that I see in the palette it is dusty rose which is this beautiful kind of um I don't know you guys it's a beautiful transition shade for your crease so here's this color right here and let's just give this color a swatch and um as I swatched it it felt kind of like a buttery kind of Thing. I mean shadow if that makes sense so that color is dusty rose and the next color we see it's this color right here and it is called Abergain I don't know how to say it but it's kind of a whiny kind of color and it has kind of blue shimmery flecks in it if that makes sense and you guys this is a beautiful color I can already tell so look at that right there look how beautiful that is so i can i mean i haven't used this palette so i'm really excited on using it tomorrow so you'll probably see a tutorial coming so the next color we have it's anaconda which is this beautiful color right here it's a really like a green shimmery color and here's a swatch on that one and this one is anaconda look how beautiful that is so that is Anaconda, you guys. And the next color we have, it is Punch Fuchsia, which is this gorgeous color right here. I think it has, like, blue shimmery flecks in it, if that makes sense. And let's just give you a swatch on that one. I'm really excited on this one. This kind of reminds me of the color from the Electric Palette, which was... Oh my god, what is that color? I want to say, um... So here's that color right here, and the color I was thinking, it was Jilted. So that color reminds me of Jilted a little bit. So, so far I'm kind of liking the pigmentations off of this palette, and I can just already imagine how it's going to feel on my little eyeballs. So the next color we have, it is Butterfly, which is this matte color right here, and it's kind of a creamy color, if that makes sense. So let's just give you a little swatch on that one right here. And here's that color right here, you guys. So here's these colors right here. 
So the next color we have, it's blue velvet, which is this beautiful dark blue color. And I kind of like it, you guys. I kind of, I mean, I really like it, you guys. So I'm just going to swatch it on this side because I'm really starting to... So here's this color right here. It's a dark blue color. So the next color we have from this palette, it is Coal, which is this color right here. I want to say it's kind of a dark green color. I don't know, just the way it looks. That's the way, I mean, that's how I describe it from the way it looks. But we'll just see. So here is this color right here. Yeah, it is green. Right? <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Is that green or black? I don't know, but that's the color coal. And the next color that I'm mostly excited for this palette, and I really, really want to use it so, so, so bad, it is this beautiful color right here, which is unicorn. And I can't wait to use this color, you guys. So let's just give you a little swatch of unicorn. And here is right here Ooh, look at that I mean that does look like a little unicorn just beep beep in there <laughs> like really it looks really majestic so I'm just dumb you guys the next color which is a beautiful color as well it's fresh which is this or orange it's yellow and I kind of like this color as well you guys so here is fresh. Look how beautiful that is. So that is that color. And now the next color we have, it is Baby I'm a Star, which is this beautiful brown color with shimmeries in it. And let's just give you a swatch on that one. Now that color reminds me of the Lorac palette, the, um, from the Lorac palette, the one that just came out. Well, I don't know if it just came out, but the one that I own, which is that one right there. And the next color we have, it is Aren't You Fancy, which is this beautiful orange color right here. And I'm kind of excited on using this color as well. And here's a swatch on that one. So look how beautiful these colors are so far, you guys. So, I mean, for what I paid for this, I really, really think it's really worth what I paid, which was, I think, $32, I think. And the last color for the palette, it is Beigely, which is this beautiful gray color, which I don't understand why it's Beigely, but that is what they named it, and I'm cool with that. So we're just going to put this color right next to to this one and I think that's kind of a like a highlighter from the palette I might be mistaken but I think that's what it is so so far I kind of I mean I love the way the pigmentations from this palette is so far so here are the colors once again and like I said I'm really loving the colors. Here's the palette. I mean, the colors once again from the palette. So, like I said, you can create different kinds of um, eye looks with this palette. And, you guys, I can't wait to try this on my face already. I kind of want to just wipe off what I have on my face right now just to put this on. But it's kind of already late, so I don't know. Let me know. I mean, let me know if you have this palette and let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know what kind of looks if you want me to create any colors looks with this and subscribe to me i mean if you haven't already and until next video i'll talk to you soon mm. bye guys